Expansion, that is the focus over at the St. Elizabeth's Boardman Emergency Center. The hospital is adding on to its emergency services wing so they can help more people in a shorter amount of time. Today, 27 First News reporter Cameron O'Brien visited the construction site at St. E's. She joins us now with new details about their progress. St. Elizabeth's Boardman is the busiest emergency department in the Tri-County area. Last year, they saw 53,000 people. So as our wait times were growing, we knew we had a need to expand, to try something different. But they couldn't build up or out, so St. E's Boardman decided to work with space they already had. Current registration area space, which we felt we could redesign. They broke ground on the redesigning process in May. And this is the entrance to the new intake area. That's where the patient will be seen by an RN and assessed. If their case is severe, they'll go back to the ER department. If not, they'll be cared for in this space, which will have four treatment rooms. This is where the people will come with lower acuity concerns that we can see quickly. These are the people that would be waiting in the waiting room you know, to free up space back in the emergency department. When the patient is discharged, they'll only have to walk a couple hundred feet down the hallway to pick up their meds. This new ambulatory pharmacy will open in September. They won't have to worry about going somewhere else, coordinating that with another pharmacy. They can do it right before they go home. It'll be one less thing they have to worry about while they're recovering. In the end, for St. E's, patient comfort comes first. They know that this is the front end of the hospital. This is the patient's first impression, and their quality of their care starts right here. In Boardman, Cameron O'Brien, WKBN 27 First News.